on the question of race in that territory, was there still a huge race issue, race issue when you were uh, there as a young man? Uh, I, I struggle with racism every day because of the way I was raised, because of um, I, I was raised in an all-white world in Mississippi, um, and we thought it would always be white. What were your uh, parents like about that? My parents were wonderful people, but uh, not the least bit tolerant toward black people. And that's the way I, that's my DNA, that's the way I was raised. And it, it took um, a long time to become more tolerant. Is there any way then that you think that A Time to Kill and even this book is about atonement? For who? For Jake? For, for you? For, for the attitudes that you were raised with? Maybe. Because I'm Jake. Okay? I mean, it was all, the, the book was very autobiographical. A lot of white people of my generation from the Deep South um, still struggle with racism and trying to overcome it. I think we're all racist. Okay. In what way? Just different levels. We prefer our race and we're quick, to, we're, quick, we're quick to condemn others. We're quick to look at life through colored glasses. And it's, there's certainly different levels of it. But it's um, still difficult for me many times. And how does that manifest itself? Well, um, stereotypes. You expect uh, certain things out of certain people. You see um, a gruesome crime. You see the suspects arrested, and it's, there are two black punks who killed a white businessman. And instinctively, you think, okay, they're guilty. You know, um, there's a level of tremendous dislike. You know. And then you, you get past that and you say, okay, well, maybe they're not guilty. They're presumed to be innocent. Maybe the cops have got the wrong people, which happens all the time. Maybe um, you should try to understand where they came from. They probably never had a chance. They were probably born on the streets, raised on the streets, probably never were taught right from wrong. You know, so you, your initial reaction is to react negatively uh, to many situations. And then, you know, you have to work through it. Do you think that the election and re-election of President Obama has fundamentally changed things for black people? I don't know. It's, it's changed things for black people because there is such an enormous sense of uh, pride and almost disbelief um, on the part of most black folks when he got elected. They never thought it would happen. We didn't, no one would have thought it would happen 10 years ago. Um, the downside is that a lot of black people thought that change, you know, we'd finally arrived at a certain point and change was gonna happen overnight. Um, but then the expectations were so high that no one could ever achieve those expectations. John Grisham, thank you very much. Indeed. My pleasure, always fun. <laughs>